All right, today's video is going to be a quick one uh, just about what happened in the Tour de France time trial. Now, if you haven't seen Ala Philippe absolutely blew everyone out of the water. Um, it was an unbelievable performance from the man. Um, we'll look at some power data and we're going to look at Rowan Dennis, what happened to him as well. Uh, it's good, always good to look at all the positions. Ala Philippe is a pretty, it's not a super, super tucked position, um, but it maybe allows him to get more power. If you look at comparisons, it's pretty similar to Kreisweig. They all have similar positions. Garrett Thomas is slightly better position, arms slightly higher up. That's generally seen as more aero. Um, but yeah, Alaphilippe was an absolute tank and um, destroyed everyone. It was an unbelievable performance and something that I never thought was going to be possible. Um, but anyway, unfortunately, Wout Van Aert crashed. He was my favourite. Um, but anyway, you can see Thomas again finished 30 seconds, 36 seconds down to Alaphilippe. And um, we can look at his power data. So, first of all, Average power for the whole ride, 410. Uh, the weighted or normalized that Strava gave was 420. Um, so obviously it's not paced um, smoothly, which makes sense because it's a hilly time trial. So straight from the off, there's a little hill here. Uh, 3%, again, 477 watts for the first minute. So you can see it's going pretty hard and then just sort of cruises on the downhill. Um, so going hardish here. Um, you can see he said he had his watts you know, set out by the team. This is what you need to do. Lotus Adal have got a lot better at time trials recently, probably in part thanks to Victor Campanart and his hour record. Um, but you can see he's doing 435 watts. And then on this long climb here, or longish climb, it's like three minutes. Um, the climb, he does 500 watts almost. Um, and 480 watts for this four and a half minute section, which is at 6%. And he's going 29k an hour at 5.5%, uh, which is absolutely rapid. And um, this time trial, everyone said you need to go hard from the start and then hang on. This bit is sort of an undulating part. Um, again, 416 watts. So he's, you know, backing off a little bit, 49k an hour average, saving himself for this last little kick, um, where again, 450 watts for three minutes. So you can basically see his threshold is probably like 420, 430. He goes a little bit over on the climbs and then less on the descent. So if we look at this descent, it's um, a pretty technical one. Still averages 262 watts on this descent and uh, 58k an hour so you know like he's doing well but yeah you can see from the map it's not a um, straightforward descent and if you watched on tv you'll also know it wasn't um and then there's this is one of the last climbs so 400 again 492 watts for the two minutes so you can see he's he's paced it well all the climbs and then this is the long sort of it was a headwind but it's also a slight downhill uh, on a really fast motorway um and it was sort of main road 53k an hour 430 watts, so again, that's sort of his threshold, it seems, around that uh, period. And then there's a little bump there, but the main thing is the kick up to the line. So again, you can see he's riding hard into the bottom of the climb, kicks up to 845 watts, holds very good power here, 642 watts for 30 seconds at the end of it, um, just to keep his momentum and then sprints all the way home. So yeah, it's an incredible effort by Thomas again. Um, he managed to come third. You can see in the segment that um, it's not the whole segment, it's only part of it. Richie Port got pretty similar time. Cries about Pino, Pino did very well. Uh, and you can start to see some of the power, douse it, 390. Um, but yeah, Thomas de Ghent really was super, super strong on that day. Um, and it brings into the question of what was Alaphilippe doing? Um, probably similar power, maybe a little bit less, because obviously he's slightly lighter, but, you know, four or five kilos, I'd say, um, with Alaphilippe. It's hard. I don't exactly sure how much Thomas de Ghent weighs. Um, but anyway, so for sure, Alaphilippe is, was doing some crazy, crazy numbers. And Garrett Thomas, again, was probably doing similar numbers to de Ghent, maybe a bit more because he's slightly, sort of similar weight-ish um, and went faster. But this brings into the question of Rowan Dennis. So Rowan Dennis left the Tour de France, and there seems to be a lot of um, things that was do his time trial bike and skin suit. So the question is, is that would Rowan Dennis have won this time trial if he was on like the fastest skin suit because i think the issue he had is that <clears throat> sorry he thinks that why would i want to in the world champions time trial suit get beaten by some absolute nobodies um just because of my skin suit so you can so there's some been some error testing i couldn't find any error testing on his skin suit he wears a sport force skin suit um but if we look at you know the difference between some of these skin suits Obviously, this Endura skin suit has now been banned for the one with dimples on it. Um, but you'll be able to see that the difference. Uh, so their average speed was about 45 to 50 kilometers an hour. 
obviously this is on the track so the power numbers are very different um but you can see the difference between some of these skin suits seven watts over 35 minutes which is what the time trial was that's enough to make a difference that's enough to make 10 15 seconds maybe if you add up you know the positioning uh maybe he couldn't get his position right and the skin suit i think he was supposed to be promised a new skin suit and it never materialized and um that was why rowan dennis didn't turn up but anyway i think for sure that like the difference in the time trial is so small you have to be perfect on all your equipment you have to be perfect on the chain like how you lube it um oversized pulley wheels not many people run them um you have, because i don't think they are actually that much faster but you've got to think about the tire choice got to think about the skin suit the position the bike just the wheels everything you've got to think of um if we looked at roman bardet i'm not sure if there's any pictures of him he was an idiot and rode some stupid like hybrid tt bike and just lost so much time did a bike change and all the rest of it um but you can see the people who take their time trialing seriously like team sky have a lot better positions and um yeah i mean this is this is the setup he would have been on Nibali would have been on, uh, sorry, Nibali obviously is on the same team. Um, they're on their Maridas, etc., etc. But anyway, so it's interesting to see this is again no shoe covers, aero socks, aero helmet, short sleeves um, on his Ridley Dean, which apparently is supposed to be fast enough. Um, so anyway, pretty impre incredible ride. Alaphilippe's numbers are going to be off the chart. Will he keep the yellow today? I think probably yes, but he'll lose time. And in the next couple of days, it'll probably blow up. But anyway, just watching. Hope you did enjoy this quick video. Sorry about my voice, it's a bit rusty. Um, but anyway, just watching. I'll see you in the next one.